Hi, welcome to 12 Minute Prep. In this lesson, we will kickstart your prep journey for the Wonderlic test, as seen in pre-employment hiring processes. The lesson will include a review of the test's format, we will go over the many types of question styles that show up on the test, we will solve some sample questions, we'll look into the scoring methods of the test, and I'll give you a snapshot into the prep courses that I offer, which can help you maximize your score potential on this assessment. Let's start. The Wonderlic Personnel Test, like many other pre-employment cognitive ability tests, measures general cognitive ability, which is said to be a predictor of job performance. It measures basic problem-solving abilities, the ability to perform under pressure, and basic knowledge of math and English. The test is often administered online and is usually used in the early stages of the application process. There are two versions of the test that assess the same abilities but differ only in length. First, there is the Wonderlic Personnel Test, also known as WPT-R. This is made up of 50 multiple choice questions and is administered in 12 minutes. There is also the Wonderlic Personnel Test Quick Test, also known as WPT-Q. This version contains only 30 multiple choice questions and is administered in 8 minutes. This version is not proctored and is usually taken from home, often used as a precursor to the full-length WPT-R. Each question is multiple choice, though the number of choices can vary. Most questions have five answer options and a single correct answer. Some have only three answer choices, often in the form of true-false cannot say. Occasionally, a question will ask you to select multiple correct answers. The Wonderlic is also an adaptive test, meaning that the difficulty of the next question will change based on whether or not you answered the previous question correctly. Individual questions appear like this on the screen. You will be shown the question number at the top left of your screen with a question and answer choices directly below. There is a timer in the top right corner to let you know how much time is left. And at the bottom right, you will have navigation buttons to move between questions. You are allowed to skip questions and come back to them later. Each correct answer is worth one point, meaning that if you answer every question correctly, you would get a perfect score of 50. On the WPTQ, the short version, each question is worth 1.66 points, so a perfect score would still be a 50 on that version. You do not lose points for skipping questions or answering them incorrectly. According to the Wonderla company, the average score is 20 out of 50 correct answers. However, the average score for specific positions may vary. For example, a target score for a systems analyst is 32 out of 50, while the target score for a bank teller is 22 out of 50. Competitive positions may require high scores of 30 out of 50 and above. The Wonderlic Personnel Test is made up of four general categories. General Knowledge, Abstract Reasoning, Verbal Reasoning, and Numerical Reasoning. The General Knowledge Questions test just that, General Knowledge. These questions are made up of three basic question styles. Finding Errors, Recognizing Dates, and General Facts. The Verbal Reasoning Questions test your knowledge of the English language and your logical and deductive reasoning abilities. These questions generally consist of grammar and vocabulary, analogies, synonyms and antonyms, sentence structure and ordering, word scrambles, and deductive reasoning. Let's take a look at a sample question.
first, let's try and turn those sentences into something more digestible. All white items are green can be written as Y arrow to the right green. B items are always blue or the same color as Y items can turn into B arrow to the right blue or green. And only green items are for commercial use can turn into commercial use right arrow green. Here is an illustration to help visualize these statements. The conclusion states that B, right arrow, commercial use. But we can see in the illustrations that items for commercial use can only be green, while B items can also be blue. There we go, conclusion refuted, and we pick incorrect as the right answer choice, which is answer C. The abstract reasoning section tests your ability to identify patterns, visualize and manipulate shapes, and there are three main question types here. Spatial reasoning, 3D shapes and tiles, and pattern recognition. Topics covered in the numerical section include number patterns, fractions and decimals, and word problems about algebra, percentages, ratios, and averages. Let's take a look at another sample question. The correct answer is C. It will cost $375 to purchase 5,000 pence. Let's take a quick look at how we got to the correct answer. First, we know the cost of a single box of 200 pence, which is $15. If we figure out how many boxes are needed to get to 5,000 pence, we can easily calculate how much that will cost. If one box is 200 pence, then we can divide 5,000 by 200 to see how many boxes are needed. If you cancel out the zeros, this is just 50 over 2, which comes out to 25 boxes. Then we would just need to multiply that by the cost of a single box, which is $15, meaning we need to solve 25 times 15. This is a simple multiplication problem, but we can make it quicker by using some shortcuts. First, the last two digits are 5, meaning that our correct answer must end in 5 as well, since 5 times 5 is 25. This can help us eliminate answer choices A, D, and E. Now we still need to find the correct answer between B and C. A quick way to multiply 25 and 15 is to break it down as follows. 25 times 10 plus 25 times 5. 25 times 10 is 250, and 25 times 5 is 125. When you add them together, you get 375, making C the correct answer. I cannot stress enough the importance of preparing for this test. Here's just a modest example of how things can look for a candidate before and after taking a course. Imagine John's starting point prior to practice is 19 out of 50 correct answers, which puts him above 46% of the population. Completing a course with a thorough review of each question type, teaching him how to shortcut his response times and spot the traps more easily with practice examples, and then having him complete full-length simulations that let him train in real test conditions with test-taking strategies can get him to score 24 correct answers, which is above 70% of the population. That is, with the help of preparation, John got past almost 30% of the population of candidates, and this is just a modest success story on my website. Even if we take a much more modest scenario, there's absolutely no advantage to running into this test unprepared. You can start out by taking my free introduction prep course. 
This course has helped over 60,000 candidates to date, and it is listed as a recommended resource among recruiters and HR teams. There is also the option of taking my paid prep course, which was created specifically for the Wonderlic test. You will get a 360 preparation experience, lessons for each question type, summary quizzes plus explanations, and solving tips to reduce response times, score reports to identify your strengths and weaknesses, full-length practice tests to simulate real test conditions, test taking and time management strategies, and the option to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a test expert who will help you maximize your own score potential. Check out the course links in the description below and get started today. Start maximizing your score potential with 12-minute prep.